Hi there. Yes, I'm back. And yes, I'm still with Kari because you need to hear what you need to hear, you know, well. All right. And I, I think what I wanted this small video for is talk about the four ways that we apply for amnesty. Okay. Yeah, because amnesty is, is real. Mm -hmm. It's real and it's a good thing. This is, you know, usually when you see Kiare, you're like, ah, this, this one is like smiles all the way. So yes, over to yes. you. We are very happy to market this tax amnesty because it's one of the fast moving products. If it was a product, <laughs> amnesty would be one to of the most fast moving, moving products. products. Uh -huh. Yes. So for a taxpayer to get the amnesty, they'll just need to log into their iPage, then make the application there. You'll find a tab written data enforcement and below it there is iTax amnesty application. Once you apply, you will the system you will select the tax obligation mm -hmm. if it's P, VAT pay as you one you select mm -hmm. and it will show you all your debts select the periods you feel you need to apply for amnesty mm -hmm. then go to the second page the second tab it tells you to select the number of installments you want for now unfortunately we have only two remaining yes when we started we we had nine mm -hmm. then after that click agree to the terms and conditions then submit oh. immediately you submit you get acknowledgement telling you that your amnesty application has been received mm -hmm. but submission of the application does not give you amnesty no amnesty comes upon payment before 30th of june okay so that is mm -hmm. how the application goes about okay but how will taxpayers know they have gotten the amnesty mm -hmm. we have to four ways in which a taxpayer will know they have gotten amnesty, amnesty yes. or they can activate the mm -hmm. amnesty to happen mm -hmm. the first one is payment okay. upon payment if you have a period that has principal taxes and you pay the entire debt for that period. Mm -hmm. Immediately you submit the last coin, mm -hmm. you will get an amnesty certificate immediately mailed to your yes. email address. Uh -huh. And also when you look at your ledger, you'll find there is no interest and penalties. Okay. They have been forgiven, forgiven. or vacated. Yes. The second way is upon logging in. Mm -hmm. And the reason we are provided for the logging in because we know there are some taxpayers who don't have principal taxes to pay. Mm -hmm. So they will not get amnesty unless we provide another way for them to get amnesty of course so for most employees when they go to login to mm -hmm. file their annual returns mm -hmm. the moment you log in mm -hmm. you will notice a mail has been sent to your email telling you yes. you have gotten amnesty for the periods mm -hmm. that you had interest and penalties mm -hmm. and you had already paid the uh -huh. principal taxes yes the third one is staff activated mm -hmm. it means you can go to an officer in case you have a challenge maybe mm -hmm. you cannot access your system or for one reason or another okay. you can come to kra you give your PIN to an officer, they'll put in the system your PIN and they will run and you'll get your amnesty immediately. Wow. And the last one, we are calling it system activated. And this will be run mm -hmm. before the end of the amnesty period. Of course. In case for one reason or another, mm. there is somebody out there mm. who did not get amnesty. Mm. Like this category, we're encouraging to file new returns. Assuming a taxpayer lost their job in 2019 they have never been filing their returns that's actually a really good yes. thing uh-huh yeah for that category it means they might not come to file because they are not aware they're supposed to be filing their returns mm -hmm. and they don't know anybody they don't have anything to pay for this category to get amnesty for those periods they were yes. filing yes the system will be activated and it will give them amnesty so when they okay. go to their email, they'll find their certificate. But the, for the periods they have not filed, yes. they'll not get amnesty. So we are calling everybody to be compliant to get this amnesty. Actually, can I just add to that? And you yes. said something really special there. Mm -hmm. You know, in that COVID period, a lot of people lost their jobs or what we yes. call pivoted into other spaces. Yes. And all of a sudden they're like, they don't file. They, they don't file them. because, and, and remember, it has been 2020, 2021, yes. 2022, exactly. 2023. Yes. So I, I encourage, actually, with mm -hmm. this video, it doesn't matter who you are. Mm -hmm. If you know you have a KRA PIN number, yes. log on, yes. have a look, mm -hmm. apply for the amnesty, mm -hmm. and at least make sure that your ledger, yes. I love the way you use that term, yes. is ledger. clean. Exactly. Of all the videos I've done with KRA, this is one of my favorite. Oh, yeah. Because I am saying good things. Yes. Yes. Mm. Thank you so much.